This place is right on the fringe of so many important carnivore species habitat. In February of 2014, a camera trap here that the Department of Wildlife Resources had set up captured a wolverine on camera. That was the first time that had happened ever. They existed all the way out to the Great Lakes. They existed up in northern Michigan and all around, but they're not here anymore and they haven't been here for quite some time. Fur trappers and hunting have really taken them out of existence here. Because DWR found this one wolverine on camera, the significance of that uh, is that wolverines could potentially be expanding their range into the Uinta Mountain Range. As we have 34 of these camera stations around the range with 30 volunteers like you guys, this effort just isn't possible any other way. The opportunity was there to study this range, but the problem is, is that the Forest Service, the Department of Wildlife Resources, so many other groups that would be interested in this just don't have the resources to do it. Adventurers and Scientists for Conservation is really excited about this partnership with the Forest Service because we can exponentially expand their capabilities of surveying this range without a lot of money. We recruited from the trail running community specifically just because of the long distances to get in to 11,000 feet up high in the range. It's more about being able to just access the cameras and the sites faster. It's about being able to do it with a greater level of confidence to be able to move efficiently. I know that I can come in here making my way to a camera. I can do it not just quickly, but I can carry everything that I need. I can be self-reliant. It's super satisfying to be able to travel fast and light in the mountains. I like where it takes you, the views. I like the feeling of being where most people feel it's too difficult to get. As we approach any given camera site, you get within about 100 yards. Your, your heart begins to beat a little oh, I can bit. Smell it here. Can you smell that? That's more than the last few times. That's part of the excitement, is we don't know what kind of disturbance there's going to be. And regardless of whether it's been tampered with, you still have the idea of, OK, well, now let's check the camera. Let's see what's on the card. There you go. Animals. Love it. A lot of the best footage has actually been at night, and you look at the pictures, and you're like, wow. In hindsight, I had no idea we were going to see so many different animals. Bears, I didn't think that we'd get such cool footage of that. Done. Is that good? Done. Yeah. If we don't find wolverines here, nothing really changes but we need to continue to protect this habitat and it's essential that we understand how to protect their ecosystems to give them the best chance to be here. Being able to be here, being involved with the Adventures and Scientists for Conservation and being a part of this research project kind of gives me an opportunity to enjoy the science. The opportunity to know that there are species out here that are elusive that unknown is what, to me, what makes it exciting.